All right, all right, look what we got here. I, last night, just before bed, I did a review video about the Sennhauser headphones. Um, I've had these HD201s for like a year, blah, blah, blah. You can watch the other video if you wanna hear about them. But anyway, my wonderful vacuum with the automatic rewind cord thing, which is cool, ate them, and they don't work anymore. So I'm like, ah, let's splurge and do the HD202s, right? No, negative. They don't fit over my ears. They're either made for women or people with really, really small ears. And if you take a look at these suckers, you can see that I don't have small ears. Don't make fun of me. You know who you are. <laughs> um, and then I said I had a higher end set coming because I really listened to a lot of subliminals and stuff like that. This is the packaging from these HD 202s, which will be going back because they won't cover my ears um, at all. And Oh, I already opened it. These are HD 280 Professionals. And I am really, really, really looking forward to these because they should give me better coverage, better noise reduction without being uh, noise canceling because you can't listen to binaural beats and other types of meditation or hypnosis um, audios and have, what is that? I didn't know it had a little dealio that I could talk into. Holy shit. If that came with it, that's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a really cool, really cool bonus. Let's get rid of this. These are for the sunhizers that are going back. Yes, I'm throwing things around like a madman. These look awesome. Like really awesome. HD 280 Pros, these are probably gonna be the nicest headphones I've ever had. I guess I've never uh, used high-end headphones other than actually yeah when I used to work for ProSound when we did stadiums and arenas there was always a um, equipment room they always had really good equipment in there but as far as using them in my house negative Ghost Rider so I don't know what this is but I love the idea that there's like a microphone attachment or something maybe that was a different model I should have bought that to do other videos but I have the snowball mic for doing screencasts. So this is cool. I like the stretchy cord. That's awesome. The HD202s came with this little cord wrapper thing that I thought was cool, where you just kind of like wrap up the extra cord. But why bother with that if you have a uh, bungee built in? At least I hope it's a bungee. And get it undone, we'll find out. And it is. That is cool. If you haven't been able to tell already, I like new gadgets. I like stuff that works well that I use every day. I think everybody does. But I get exceptionally excited about new purchases. Obviously this video won't tell you long term how these headphones perform and hold up, but I like doing unboxing videos. I get excited when I get new things. The other thing that's cool <clears throat> that I liked about this is that the cord only comes out on one side. I know that sounds ridiculous, like it doesn't even matter, but the thing that I didn't like about the 201s is that I constantly had to look for right and left. So if I'm laying in bed at night trying to do like a sleep track or a binaural beats on a sleep track that I fall asleep to for deeper sleep, I have to figure out which side is which before I put them on uh, when I lay in bed at night because you can't see. So with these, I wasn't pleased with that either because yet again, two cords. What I'm getting at is with this, I will remember. Right side, no cord. Left side, cord. So I can be I, maybe I'm like not sleeping well one night and I can just reach for the headphones and then grab them. And whichever side the cord is on always goes over here. So that's one, one thing that I really like. The quality of these is just a huge difference, obviously to be expected from a, uh, <clears throat> a $20 set. And the moment of truth, let's put these bad boys over the ears. I have a big head, so we'll uh, extend these all the way up. I think Sennhauser, people, the designers must have small heads because their shit is always like super extended for me and it barely fits, but it works. Oh wow, that's a huge difference. It's like it's like going into an anechoic chamber almost. That is awesome. This will be way better for, uh, for planes and when I'm flying and stuff like that to block out screaming babies and all kinds of craziness. Um, man, so, so far really impressed with the overall fit and finish. These are extra cushy compared to what I'm used to, and they also swivel, which is a huge plus. These cheaper ones, they don't really move that well, and actually just picking them up now, these are feel like a piece of shit. 
uh, compared to these. I don't know what I waited so long for to get a decent pair of headphones. There's probably people out there that, have argue, that would argue that these aren't even that good. But um, compared to what I'm used to, these should be awesome. And I'm looking forward to trying out some, uh, some cool tracks. And I'll do an update video later on after I use these for a while and let you know how they compare. Take it easy.